is still straight from the last video. I took you through the whole process I went through when it comes to straightening curly hair. So um, I didn't want to mess my curls up. I had already gone through a whole year's process of you know getting them really healthy. So I used this Bond Curl Rehab salve to strengthen it so that the curls you know don't get weak or get ruined or anything like that so i'm actually going to be using this bond curl salve again before i go back to curly just to you know revive it a bit and hopefully to just strengthen it so like i said in the last video it's like a bonding treatment for weak damaged hair and you know heat does damage our hair so it also creates like bond stability, resilience, and protection. I'm really excited to see how my curls are going to turn out after straightening my hair. I did use the hot airbrush, the Revlon's hot airbrush, a few more times after straightening it that initial first time. And what I did before I used the Revlon's hot airbrush, I used this heat protectant by NeuroStyle. And my friend recommended it to me. She said they tested this out at her school and it worked really well. So on the back it says spray onto dry hair before using a hot iron to help protect from damage. Then reapply to lock in the shine and the look. So when I was retouching my hair throughout the weekend, I would just grab a section and spray the protectant on it and then I would go over it with the hot brush just for that extra protection. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-wet all of my hair just to make it damp reapply this bond curl salve and then i'm going to leave it in for an hour before i follow up with my shower routine So I'm done showering and if you would like to know my shower uh, routine with my Curl Talk products, I will link it up at the top. But right now I'm just going to detangle my hair. And like I said in the last video, you can still smell the um, Curl Smith salve and it smells so good. And it left my hair feeling so moisturized and it feels extremely healthy. So. I'm just going to quickly detangle my hair and I'm just going to re-wet it a bit like the tips. And today instead of using my Curl Talk products, I'm actually going to be using Curl Smith. So I bought this weightless air dry cream. It's a leave-in conditioner for all hair types. It's an easy dry, smooth, soft and sealed cuticles. And some of the ingredients in this are wild murumuru, the basu seed oil, hyaluronic acid, grated ginger, dragon fruit pulp, torn wild nettle, silky castor oil. And like I said before, with the salve, it's also cruelty free, no sulfates, no silicones, and it's also vegan. So I'm excited to try this cream out for the first time. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of this. Oh, that's how much I took, about a quarter sized amount going to split my hair down the middle and add it to one side of my hair. I'm going to get a little bit more, maybe like half a quarter sized amount for the back just to make sure I have enough. Here is another quarter sized amount for the other side starting off at the tips and working my way up towards the roots. By the way, this smells really good. So I'm really happy with the consistency of it and the smell as well. All right, so that's enough. My hair is feeling really great for just having straightened it. So I'm really happy so far. So now I'm going to follow up with the Curl Smith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. And it's a styling gel for curly and wavy hair. 
has a medium hold, lightweight, and airy definition. So some of the ingredients in this are hyaluronic acid, green tea brew, thyme leaf oil, white cedar, mashed amla, I believe that's how you say it, and then lavender flowers. And it says it has a seven for hold. Um, this is my first time using this and it's also cruelty free, no sulfates, no silicones, and vegan. Because I'm not going to be following up with a mousse like I usually do, I am going to put maybe a quarter and a half size amount for one side of my hair. I'm just going to rake this hydro jelly through it. I'm a little nervous just because I'm not using mousse. I feel like my hair results um, are great after I use mousse. So we'll see how it looks with just gel. This is also my first time using this Curlsmith product. I will say though, my hair is feeling so moisturized. Like it feels amazing. And it's a light hold, so we'll see how much volume it has at the end, how much bounce it gives to my curls as well. Now I'm just using my Denman brush, and um, if you want a more in-detail video of how to use it, I'll link it up at the top. So I just finished styling my hair with the Denman brush, and I just scrunched up, and my curls are looking really good. It doesn't look like there has been any damage from the... Um, from the hot airbrush that I used last week. So it's feeling really nice. And now I'm going to follow up with um, diffusing my hair. I'm just going to do it for about five minutes and then let it air dry for the rest of the time just because I don't want to add more heat to it already. Okay, so I know my hair looks a little crazy right now, but it's about 50% dry and I have a good cast on it starting to form. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm just going to let it air dry for the rest of the time to give it a break from all that heat just because I did just straighten it. So I'll come back later when it's done air drying and we'll see the results of my curls. So my hair is finally all dry. I did let it air dry and I am loving how it feels. It's definitely a lighter hold. It's not as crunchy as it normally would be with like my other curl products that I normally use. So this is really nice. And I'm really happy because even though I straightened my hair, it still looks amazing afterwards. And that's probably because of the process that I went through with the salve for strengthening and then using the blowout balm for heat protection as well as the, um, I think it's the Nero style protect, heat protectant. So all of those things definitely helped. My curls look so hydrated and they feel really soft and I loved it. And I really loved using the Curlsmith products as well. So for my last step, I'm just going to use some of this aloe and blueberry juice by Curls to scrunch out the cast. So here are my results. I'm loving how my curls look. They do not look heat damaged. They feel even more moisturized than before and more soft than before. And that's again, probably because I did use Curlsmith for my hair. I just love these products. And I'm thinking I might even do a separate video on a whole Curlsmith curly hair routine using the shampoo and all of that. So that's it for today. Thanks again so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. And again, if you have any comments or questions on any of the products that I used, please let me know and I'll see you guys next time.